All right, so we're going to begin our discussion with obviously the installation of Rust. And this largely depends on the operating system that you're using because if you're on Windows, then when you open up the Rust homepage, which is rust-lang.org, you're going to have just, you know, an install button where this will install an MSI package. So here it is downloading. However, if you are not on Windows, if you're on Linux, for example, then I suggest you look into the reference. Specifically, if you look at the book and specifically the part on installing Rust, you'll see that there is a simple curl command that you can get to basically install Rust for you. And this, yes, this command does uh, cause you to uh, basically, you know, execute something remotely, which some people might be uh, wary of. So that's the uh, that's the course of action you should do if you are on Linux or OS X. If you're on Windows, just run the installer, and this basically uh, kind of uh, uh, does the. Uh, uh, does the installation for you at the moment rust is at version 1.5 it's only recently been a 1.0 release so time kind of uh, you know there's there's lots of stuff happening in rust and uh, this this might imply that uh, you know this course will get uh, will need some updates at a certain point in time all right so let's just uh, going to install everything and then we're going to see how to actually work with Rust. Now the interesting thing is that you don't really have to have an installation because Rust has something called a playground. This is a separate website play.rustlang.org and here you can essentially run Rust applications right inside the browser. As you can imagine what really happens is uh, that the system takes your code, it runs it on the back end and then it kind of uh, shows you the output. So as I press run here, you'll see that I am printing the hello world. This is something that we're going to uh, do on the desktop, so to speak, because I'm going to be using an IDE for uh, most of the development. But the Rust Playground is very useful and it can be quite helpful in figuring out what's actually going on. You can also enable uh, ASM output, see the assembly language that gets generated or the LLVM structures, which are subsequently used for the actual you know, final assembly. So you can look at those if you are a particularly nerdy type and want to find out what exactly your code is being being compiled into. All right, so I'll stop for now. And next up, we're going to talk about the development environments where you can actually use Rust.